YouTube. Well, hello, YouTube. Mudcat here. I'm down on the Natchez Trace. Just left uh, Loveless Cafe outside of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Heading south. Kind of a last minute deal, just kind of decided to do it. This is kind of a, uh, a park, speed limit, it's 40 mile an hour, I believe it's 440 miles if I ain't mistaken, but uh, scenery's nice, weather's nice, and I just need to relax and get away. I think this will do it. You know, sometimes we want to get out and go fast and really tear it up. And other times we just kind of want to go out and relax. This is one of them relaxing times. going to do this earlier this year and it just didn't just didn't pan out for one reason or the other I was uh, didn't have enough time and the weather wasn't right and I was the start of my eight days off and I left uh, home this morning I left in the rain so I didn't have, I don't know, probably 60 mile of rain or so, 60, 70 miles. And then I drove out, I didn't even have my rain gear on. I had my leather jacket on and was just uh, blasting down the super slab. So I stay pretty dry like that on this bike. It affords pretty good uh, weather protection if you're at speed just got down here i'll tell you what it's a good uh good time timing is right i do believe and uh there's a bike behind me back there looks like a dual sport so he he got behind me we pulled out there at the loveless cafe and i don't know how far he's going or anything but Pulled over and got me a Diet Mountain Dew to sip on on the way down. I got my camping gear and I'm going to camp. Uh, I'm going to get off in uh, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Visit there. The, the history of Muscle Shoals just kind of... I like that. The musical history. There's so much come out of Muscle Shoals, Alabama. If you've never seen a documentary on it, I will put a link down below and uh, you can check it out. Highly encourage you to watch it. This is nice. Way up here. But I uh, encourage you to watch it no matter what gen genre of music you prefer. There's so much of it come out of Muscle Shoals, Alabama that uh, most people, including myself, never realize. So um, check it out if you get a chance. A lot of bicycle riders out here. They can use the whole lane. I guess that's cool. I didn't know how busy this would be through the week. I'm hoping I can get a uh, campsite down here. I really didn't put a lot of research into it. I just kind of left.
crooked road. It'd really be nice about, I don't know, 65, 70 mile long. <laughs> 436 mile marker. I guess this goes all the way down to Natchez, Mississippi. Like I said, I got intentions of getting off at Muscle Shoals and uh, a nice little bridge here up in the air. Uh, and I think I want to get off of Tupelo, Mississippi, maybe go see Elvis Presley's birth site. Uh, If I'll see anything else down through here or not, maybe. Those are two things that I know are in the area. With COVID and all, I don't know how many campsites or campgrounds will be open. What kind of facilities they will have. I figure I'm going to go till about 3 o'clock and it's 12.30 now. 1.30 and uh, then start looking for a campsite. I got to get off and get one, that's okay, but I believe I can make it to uh, Muscle Shoals by then. So. I don't know why I got to I do not my preferred hydrator. Looks good. I was gonna get some video there of the Loveless Cafe, but my gosh, they were so busy. trying to get my camera going and stuff. I just thought I better get on out of there before somebody ran into me or I ran into somebody else. I brought along my uh, action camera, a Saka, not a GoPro, but kind of looks like one, hooks up like one. I think I'll probably put it on and um, record some of the ride. I've never used it in any, any of the video of it. I don't know why, it just it doesn't really hook up to my uh, phone as well. And I don't know, this, this uh, Santa seems to work really well for me. They say the speed limit is strictly enforced on there. I don't know. That's what everybody tells me. So I'm just going to take it easy. Not be in any hurry. I think I'm hitting the color, the color change just about right. Should get to see a lot of it. I think we're a little past at home this last two weeks that I've been working. Uh, I think we've missed a lot of the color kind of hope to go up to Brown County see some of it up there but uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it I think we're a little past and then we had some rain and storms and that kind of
takes down a lot of the leaves. We've just been so doggone busy at work and we've been running short-handed. Uh, we've had several guys out with COVID and uh, everybody's doing well. Nobody's really sick, so they just won't let them come to work. So, um, and I ain't been calling anybody in to replace them. We're supposed to have um, 10 guys on one side and we was working with four last uh, three days. It's kind of aggravating, it's not very safe. Our job is kind of like a fireman. A lot of times we don't do a whole lot, but if we do, if we are needed, we're needed pretty quick. And a lot of times it takes more than just a couple guys. Two of those guys have to stay in the control room. So it's really only two guys outside. I don't know what their reasoning is behind it, but it's not a good situation. Nobody feels comfortable with it other than the management that's thinks they're saving money till something happens. They've already had some equipment burn up because they didn't have a person watching it. But I don't know. I'm just a peon, so I don't get to make those decisions. kind of up in the air where to go come down here or go to uh, uh, what is it uh, New River Gorge in West Virginia I've seen a video that uh, Jersey Nick Moto did about a campground that they had out there that was covered and had a uh, a platform wooden platform I thought that was rather unique and I've never been out that way on a bike, so uh, I thought about going out there. And I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. Uh, I'm gone till at least Thursday. I may get home Thursday night, or I may stay gone till uh, Friday or Saturday. So we'll see. I ought to get some real good gas mileage like this. I may go down here and go over to West Monroe, Louisiana and uh, visit the uh, Robertsons, the uh, Duck Commanders, I guess, and uh, may do something like that or I may uh, go down to the Gulf and eat some seafood or, I don't know, just kind of wandering. I don't, I tend to not make plans, too detailed the plans. It's, that's like whenever I left, I didn't know where I was going. I was just going to head south. And uh, that's the way I prefer to go. I, I've made a bunch of plans and get ready to go and stuff, and then they not work out. or um, Something happened, and I put all that effort into planning, and planning stops and sights to see and then something happens and I can't go so I 
prefer just to go whichever the way the wind blows me. That's an odd looking hay bales up there. They aren't wrapped very tight, they're about to fall over. But I don't think them cows will mind what that is over there. Going over, well, that's a park office looks like. Supposedly all them park offices are closed. Lepers Fork Historic District. That's a, that's a pretty cool place if you guys follow uh, American Pickers. Mike has a, uh, a place there. And then in Franklin, Tennessee, I believe it's Franklin, is the Medford Garage. And um, a lot of cool places there. That's where Mike keeps a lot of his uh, motorcycles and cars and stuff. Pretty cool place. And then in Nashville, they got the American Pickers store. You can go in there and see some different things in it. Stuff that we've seen on the TV show. It's pretty cool. Um, things that they've bought. I like that show. Me and my wife watch it a lot. We're not antique collectors or buyers, but I like to watch them do it. See some of the stuff they buy, and sometimes they're in our area. Got an old Sportster. Glad I got cruise control. I could set my cruise right here on 40 and just putt right along. I don't know if this guy's gonna pass me. It's been behind me. I believe he is. I might be going too slow for him. This area down in here, Tennessee, Kentucky, is one of my favorite places to ride. I just, uh, I just love coming down here, seeing the different stuff, and a lot of history down here. I like that rock wall right there. That's a long wall. like this would last a long time. No more speed, no truck traffic on them. Hiking trail. Look at there. There's a big old camper, I guess. Wow. Of 1812 Memorial. Intercom failed. Try again later.
I wish she'd be quiet. Anybody know how to get that to turn off? I sure would appreciate it. I, uh, it sure does aggravate me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and go back to that War of 1812 Memorial. I ain't no hurry. ride like a pro would be happy with that turn or not but I wasn't trying to make a tight one nice white oak tree if there's anything here or not. Doesn't really look like it. What that's for? Got horse trails around here maybe? Intercom failed. Try again later. Well, that's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. We're about uh, 25 minutes. And uh, I don't know what I'll... Intercom failed. Try again later. I don't know what I'll edit out, but uh, I think uh, I'll just end it here and pick up another one whenever I see something interesting. Thanks for riding along. If you want to see some more of it, uh, I'll have another video up soon. And uh, please, uh, if you like what I'm putting out, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Mudcats out on the Natchez Trace. Parkway.